Leave my daughter alone. Marcus Nelson, father of former CHLA cancer patient Ella Nelson, slams Meghan Markle for gripping daughter's hands tightly at Children's Hospital LA Gala. The Children's Hospital Los Angeles Gala, CHLA, is a big event. It brings together stars and people who want to help. This year, it was filled with glamour and charity. But before we continue, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more updates. But a moment with Meghan Markle and a young girl named Ella Nelson caused a stir. Ella had been a cancer patient at CHLA. The incident was meant to show the hospital's kindness, but turned into a big controversy. Marcus Nelson, Ella's dad, spoke out against Meghan Markle. He said she held his daughter's hands too hard, hurting her. His words, leave my daughter alone, went viral on social media. This article will tell you all about the controversy. You'll learn about the event, the people involved, and the media fallout. It's about how celebrities and the public can clash in emotional situations. The Children's Hospital LA Gala, a night of stars and hope. Every year, the gala brings together famous people and those who want to help. It honors kids fighting serious illnesses. It's a night of hope and resilience. This year, big names like Meghan Markle and Prince Harry were there. They came to help raise millions of dollars for the hospital. The money goes to research and helping families. Ella Nelson, a young girl who beat cancer, was a guest. She's a symbol of hope for many. Her meeting with Meghan Markle became famous. Ella Nelson, a story of courage and survival. Ella was diagnosed with leukemia at seven. She went through a lot of treatment and surgeries. Her case was very tough. Her family and her dad Marcus were always there for her. They supported her through everything. Now, Ella is in remission and they were at the gala to celebrate. The gala was meant to be a happy time for the Nelsons. But their meeting with Meghan Markle changed everything. The encounter. What really happened? During the gala, Meghan Markle met Ella and her dad. It seemed like a nice moment. Meghan smiled and hugged Ella, offering comfort. Marcus Nelson had a different view of the situation. He shared a viral post on social media, saying Meghan Markle hurt his daughter Ella. Ella was still recovering from leukemia and had fragile hands. Marcus felt Meghan didn't notice Ella's pain. Marcus's post, Leave My Daughter Alone, got thousands of shares quickly. Many parents and advocates for children with illnesses commented on it. Some criticized Meghan for not being aware, while others questioned Marcus's decision to speak out. Meghan Markle, the public figure under scrutiny. Meghan Markle has faced a lot of criticism since marrying Prince Harry in 2018. She's been praised for her humanitarian work, but also criticized. Meghan and Harry advocate for mental health and children's health. The encounter with Ella Nelson was heavily scrutinized. Critics said Meghan was too focused on her image. They accused her of not noticing Ella's pain. But some defended Meghan. They said she might not have known about Ella's sensitive hands. They thought the situation was being exaggerated. Marcus Nelson's perspective, a father's pain. Marcus Nelson was upset because his daughter Ella had already gone through a lot. He felt frustrated and angry. He wanted to protect Ella from any more pain. Marcus's words resonated with many parents. They understand the challenges of raising a child with an illness. Marcus felt his daughter's pain was being ignored. The media reaction. Social media explodes. The media quickly picked up the story, with headlines all over the world. The debate on social media was intense. People were divided on whether Meghan was insensitive or not. Some supported Marcus Nelson for standing up for his daughter. They felt Meghan was too focused on her image. Others thought the incident was blown out of proportion. The aftermath. Lessons learned? Many are wondering what will happen next. Will Meghan change how she interacts with the public? Will Marcus's outcry raise awareness for families of sick children? Or will it just be another celebrity controversy? For Marcus and Ella Nelson, they hope the spotlight on their story will highlight the needs of kids like Ella. Ella needs special care and attention, even after leaving the hospital. For Meghan Markle, it's a lesson that every action is under public scrutiny, even when it's for good causes. Conclusion A Complex Controversy The drama at the Children's Hospital LA Gala between Meghan Markle and Ella Nelson shows how complex public moments can be. It involved famous people and a young girl, turning a charity event into a big media story. Both sides strongly defended their views. Ella Nelson, 
a young girl, is at the center of it all. She has faced a lot in her short life. It doesn't matter where you stand on the controversy. Ella's health and happiness should be the main focus. Both Marcus Nelson and Meghan Markle wanted to help kids like Ella. They hoped this controversy would bring more awareness and kindness to families facing challenges. Kate Middleton no longer playing peacemaker between Prince William, Harry. Meghan Markle labeled the problem by Ashima Grover. A new report contradicts previous claims that Kate Middleton contacted Prince Harry on his birthday and held out an olive branch for him. Last month, the Duchess of Cambridge, Kate Middleton, released an emotional video message confirming that she had completed her chemotherapy treatment after being diagnosed with cancer three months ago. Soon after, royal experts weighed in on her video, conjecturing it was much more than just a health update. With humility, it also brings you face-to-face -face with your own vulnerabilities in a way you have never considered before, and with that, a new perspective on everything, Princess Catherine said in the video. This time has above all reminded William and me to reflect and be grateful for the simple yet important things in life, which so many of us often take for granted. Of simply loving and being loved. Also read is King Charles III's extraordinary resilience concerning the future of the monarch. Kate Middleton did not contact Prince Harry on his birthday. Royal expert Jenny Bond was one such person who suggested that Kate might have unexpectedly referenced extending an olive branch to her estranged brother in law, Prince Harry. The new perspective on things in light of her journey to recovery may have influenced Prince William and her decision to publicly wish Harry on September 15th, his birthday. Kate Middleton no longer playing peacemaker between Prince William, Harry. Meghan Markle labeled the problem by Ashima Grover. October 5th, 2024, 11.42 a.m. IST. A new report contradicts previous claims that Kate Middleton contacted Prince Harry on his birthday and held out an olive branch for him. Last month, the Duchess of Cambridge, Kate Middleton, released an emotional video message confirming that she had completed her chemotherapy treatment after being diagnosed with cancer three months ago. Soon after, royal experts weighed in on her video, conjecturing it was much more than just a health update. Britain's Prince William, second right, Kate, Princess of Wales, right, Prince Harry, left, and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, second left, leave after they paid their respects to Queen Elizabeth II in Westminster Hall for the lying in state, in London, Wednesday, September 14, 2022. AP, Britain's Prince William, second right, Kate, Princess of Wales, right, Prince Harry, left, and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, second left, leave after they paid their respects to Queen Elizabeth II in Westminster Hall for the lying in state, in London, Wednesday, September 14, 2022. AP. With humility, it also brings you face to face with your own vulnerabilities in a way you have never considered before, and with that, a new perspective on everything, Princess Catherine said in the video. Gear up to prepare for a future brand manager role with Micah's brand management and communication course. This time has above all reminded William and me to reflect and be grateful for the simple yet important things in life, which so many of us often take for granted. Of simply loving and being loved. Also read is King Charles III's extraordinary resilience concerning the future of the monarch. Kate Middleton did not contact Prince Harry on his birthday. Royal expert Jenny Bond was one such person who suggested that Kate might have unexpectedly referenced extending an olive branch to her estranged brother-in-law, Prince Harry. The new perspective on things in light of her journey to recovery may have influenced Prince William 